Okay guys, today's tutorial is about modeling an active crystal, so let's start. Let's create first a, a sphere. So clicking a sphere, and right there. Now we have to make it edible, so press C and select the point tool. Now we're gonna do right click on the stage and select the magnet tool. Now start pulling sides of the S sphere and just trying to do something like this. So you see the oh we have right there real quick. It doesn't have to be the same, but we can get something close. Oh, we're missing some out here. Okay, now. Now, select the poly tool right here and press Alt, Control, A to select all the poly units. Now, do the right click to the stage and select Matrix True. Now, on the steps, we're gonna type 20 and then scale. The scale is gonna be 90 and 90. Variation is gonna be per step and apply. Now, you see, we have some crazy stuff going on. It looks pretty cool. Now we have to create a shatter object. So click in here and pick the shatter. Now we're gonna select. We're gonna do some modifications and the object properties. We're gonna set the strength to 25 and that'll be good for it. Now drop the shatter into the S-sphere and we'll get the crystal right here now we're almost done with it so now we have to add some lights so let's add an honey light and set the shadow to shadow matte soft and the visible light to visible now we're gonna do the material we should go to file new material double click now select reflection and luminance now on luminance we need to set the following um, numbers for R we're gonna set 40 for G 79 and for V 111 from brightness, we're gonna use five percent. Okay. Right. Now let's drop the material into the sphere and render. It. So this is actually what you're gonna get. You can always change the color or just change the light we should create a really good effect so I hope you guys like this tutorial I just want to remind you guys that this is not my tutorials I just get from different websites and just making it a video for better understanding so well let's hope you hurry up So there you go. Now you we have after the two minutes rendering. So this is gonna look like gonna be good for like signatures and our graphic stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube videos.
Thank you.